Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily Jean. I'm actually really excited to be sitting here and filming this video because I have not done a Q&A or any type of like just chill, old school sit down videos. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, I think you know that these are honestly my favorite things to film because it's just so like classic. And I've been a consumer of YouTube as well as making my own videos for years now. So it's just like, this is my comfort spot. Today we're doing a q and I'm gonna answer a bunch of recent questions. I posted a little question box on Instagram a couple weeks ago and I was actually gonna do it on my Instagram. And then I thought, you know what? Why don't I just film an actual Q&A for my YouTube channel because I haven't in so long. I'm still just trying to figure out backgrounds and setups and everything in my new apartment. If you guys didn't know, I just moved downtown Detroit. I have some moving vlogs on my channel. I'm in a city apartment. I love it so much, you guys. And that's actually a bunch of the first questions we're gonna get into are kind of about that. Before we get into that, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Felix Gray. So a big thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I love Felix Gray so much. I am wearing their blue light glasses right now. I have had these for years and years and years. They are my all-time favorite blue light filtering glasses. If you guys don't know what that is or you don't understand the importance of it, I actually don't have any prescription or any eyesight problems, but I do struggle with so many different symptoms of being in front of screens and lights all day, every day, especially with my job as being a YouTuber. I'm constantly recording content, editing content, just on my computer. I'm actually sitting in front of my huge Mac computer at my desk, and I literally constantly have a screen in front of my face. The blue light from those screens is very harmful to our eyes, and I honestly feel it physically. I get really bad headaches or migraines. I'll be unable to sleep. But when I am actively wearing my glasses during the day or especially at night when I'm on my phone or something or like when I'm in a heavy edit work mode it honestly saves my life and makes a huge difference I really truly feel that it helps my lifestyle so if you guys are someone who are constantly on screens or have felt the strain of blue light from anything I feel like we're all in front of screens way more than we'd like anyways just with having our smartphones nowadays so I love my Felix Grey I have the Taurus color i think this is the style nash yeah this is the style nash it's a pretty like classic kind of square style they're really lightweight and comfortable yeah i got the taurus color i've had these for a long time they come in a little case just like this which i love and i actually have a second pair because i love them so much it's the same style nash nash is like my favorite style i kind of want to try out some other ones um but i just really like this like classic kind of like library s glasses and like honestly they're so cute like i love wearing glasses just as an accessory so if it's gonna help protect my eyes at the same time then it's a win-win they also do provide prescription and non-prescription glasses so if you guys actually do need a prescription or you already are wearing glasses they offer that too with their blue light technology their glasses filter 15 times more blue light than any other brand they are truly like high quality glasses i feel like you see blue light glasses everywhere nowadays but i think it's really important to get a true really high quality pair otherwise it's really not gonna work as well so these are the same exact pair but just in a all black color i just want to have the option i love a taurus print that's probably my favorite um and they also have like clear ones and all different colors and shapes and styles and there's something for everyone if you're a guy if you're a girl whatever and i love them so much so if you guys want to check out Felix Gray. I will have their website listed down below. Of course, all the information when I'm working with a company and a product that I love, I always leave all the info right below the video so you can check that out. I highly recommend them and I just, I can't say enough good things about them. I'm going to wear them through this video because we are answering questions on my phone today. You guys can try Felix Gray for a 30 day money back guaranteed and yeah, I'll have that link to shop down below. Thanks Felix Gray. So so let's get into the questions. Um, I think I'm gonna start with kind of all the like 
apartment kind of like life update questions first. How does it feel to be moved out? Do you love it? Is Kyle living with you? Will Kyle be moving in with you? Lots of questions about the whole situation. How's life in downtown Detroit? Okay, so first off, I am loving it so much. It's been almost a month since moving in and honestly that time has flown by. If you guys have ever moved before, you know like just how much work and effort it takes to like get a place to where you want it to be. So honestly, like the first month just flew by and I've been loving it so much. I feel like there's still so much to explore and do in the city. Um, I grew up in not too far from downtown Detroit. I'm from like the suburbs area. So I've always been like a big Detroit lover, just always visiting. And especially when I started my YouTube channel, I honestly give a lot of thanks to the city of Detroit for um, helping my brand because I made such a great like community down here and meeting so many people and that's why I've always been like a city type girl. I just love that like lifestyle and energy and there's always something new to do, someone new to meet and it's just like fun and energetic. So I've always loved the city. I always knew I wanted to move here. I just didn't know when that was ever gonna happen. And I honestly got very lucky finding the unit and the place that I'm living now. Fun fact, I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace. I applied for a more luxury apartment building closer to home and that ended up not working out. It's a whole long story. It was just not meant to be and I was honestly feeling very helpless So like my last resort was like, you know, what? I think there's like rental properties on Facebook marketplace I already use that app all the time for furniture and stuff um, And I was just like, let me just see anything around me Let me just look at all my options and I was trying to like tour everything I could and the second I saw this place I was like, this is literally perfect for budget, for the size, for the location. Everything about it was absolutely perfect. The cats love it here so much. Thank God I was honestly a little bit worried about that because we are in the city now and they were kind of used to being, you know, at my dad's house where we had more land and water and just more nature to see, I guess. But they've been loving it here so much. And I feel like I'm just like kind of ranting, but I feel like I haven't truly sat down and talked to you guys about it. So yeah, I love it here so much. I'm excited to like share the city with you and just do so much more stuff. I feel like the first month, I've one, been really busy with work. I hope you guys have noticed I've been posting a lot more. Um, that's my biggest goal with, you know, moving out and kind of starting this new journey is to just get back on the consistency with my YouTube channel and my job. Um, it's been really, really hard for me the past couple years. And I've been on YouTube now for almost six years so I kind of hit a wall and I'm just really happy to be in the city now and it's giving me that energy that I needed so yeah hopefully you guys are seeing that I'm posting more videos that is my goal that is another one of the questions um will you be doing more YouTube videos now that you're moved out which yes totally I already have been trying to I've been busy with like back-end work stuff um and I want to do even more videos like lots more cooking and makeup and like more specific videos so if you guys have any requests leave them down below it always helps me to see like your guys's direct requests or like things you want to see your ideas so let me know um and then also <laughs> i still haven't answered this is kyle moving in with you or what's the deal with that so kyle is finishing his last semester of college or university so he's kind of like back and forth with school right now so he's here like half of the week and then he is at home and up at school and different things like that so he's very busy doing all his different things so he's not technically moved in with me yet um, but he is here very often and obviously spends the night and has like clothes here and things like that because we're just very close we're together as much as we can so um, yeah but he's not technically moved in yet but that is our plan for the future once he kind of gets all his ducks in a row and, and finishes up school. So that's kind of the deal with that. You'll see him in like lots of vlogs and stuff too. But this is my apartment. So that answers that. Okay, where do you want your next tattoo, you guys? I have been debating and just thinking about tattoos for a while now. I have technically four but like three tattoos and I haven't got like a new one in a while so I've just like really been itching to get a new one. I kind of wanted to do some like legit 
finger tattoos but I know that's just like such a big commitment so I've kind of been waiting on it and thinking about it for a long time um, but I love my tattoo artist at 313 Inc on Instagram Ramsey he is literally the best tattoo artist Ever. I like I love him so much. He's the best guy. He's so talented and he does a lot of detailed tiny work um, I know his books are like completely full right now. So please don't like bombard his Instagram page um, but yeah, he's like so good. So I would definitely trust him to, you know, do some things on my hands. I have like very specific ideas. I always want my tattoos to have some sort of like meaning and things like that behind it. So I definitely have ideas. I literally will take like Sharpies and draw all my tattoos on myself, on my hands myself and just have it on for the day to like really get myself used to it. And Kyle always laughs at me. But yeah, I'm thinking about it. Let me know what you guys think down below about that. I know people either love it or hate it, but yeah, that's like on my mind. No plans are like for sure yet, so you have to stay tuned. Somebody asked for my tanning regimen, and I think I'm gonna do like a full video on my fake tan. I've been getting back into like full on fake tanning at home now. I have like some left over right now, so it's a little bit patchy to be honest. Um, I had a wedding last weekend that I did it for, but I feel like my hands and my face are like fading, but I have makeup on now, so you won't be able to tell. Anyways, I think I'm gonna do like a full video on that to really you know go in depth about it i've been fake tanning for years and years and years and there's so many different products that i've used so i feel like i kind of have my routine down and especially it's getting cold out in winter i even like tan i feel like i tan more in the winter because in the summertime i like to get more of like a natural suntan so yeah i'll do a video on that and stay tuned oh someone said please tell me new merch is coming Honestly, you guys, merch has been the last thing on my mind after these past two years. Even just my YouTube channel and everything has been very difficult. Um, but I would love to get the merch back going. I think I said that in a vlog recently. Like, I've been thinking about it. I think about it every day. Um, my website's down right now, but I would love to get that stuff back up and running. So, if you guys are really interested in that and you want things like that, please let me know in the comments because that will help me hear your feedback. But yeah, being in the city and having my own space, I think it would be like a great thing to set up, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself like I have in the past. So it's just really hard with just me and the amount of work that goes into merch and like shipping out deliveries and the website and everything and the customer service all being on me is very difficult for the outcome, I guess. So yeah, but if you guys really want it, I would love to make new stuff and design some really fun, unique new things. So, okay, someone else is asking about self-tan. Like I said, I'll do a video on that. And oh, someone said, how are you adjusting to living with Kyle? So again, Kyle isn't technically moved in, but he's been here like pretty much half of every week about give or take like three to four days a week um and i will say it is like it's not super easy kyle and i have been together for almost three years now we definitely have like always been very close and i feel like we've kind of already felt the living together situation because i was always visiting him up at school and we always spend the night at each other's houses whatever kind of already had that experience as well as when i lived in my condo it is hard and i feel like we have to have really good communication on you know helping with dishes if i'm cooking or just little things around the apartment even though he isn't fully moved in since he is spending a lot of time here um so we try to just keep like really open communication we actually have this whiteboard over here that we're trying to like put a calendar on and I think we're even gonna have like a little chores section just to like make it very clear I always find the more clear you are and the more you're on the same page the better so honestly communication is key with that so yeah we've had our little like bickers or whatever and thank god we have like a separate one bedroom and i also have my little vanity space over there so we can like kind of have our own spaces it's not like we're in an open like studio or part apartment or anything so it's been good i love it i mean i i already knew i loved living with him and being very close with him we we're just like that kind of couple but yeah it's definitely hard when you have to mix in a lot of like household things and just more adult responsible things and i'm sure it's going to get a little bit more difficult once we have to you know involve the finances and splitting stuff like that because right now it's kind of we kind of have that like at bay we're not like splitting rent or anything right now so that's a little like honest 
answer to that, I guess. I feel like we all go through that and can relate to that. So yeah. What type of vlogging camera do you use? Okay, I'm using my vlog camera right now. Actually, I want to get back into using my Canon 80D for sit down videos and makeup videos. It's like a much larger DSLR incredible camera, but I honestly never use it because it's so big, but I should because it's my job <laughs> and I want to give the best content for you guys and I have so much more room to set up now so it's like I'm really really excited to get everything in place but the vlog camera I'm using right now this is the one that I like to take with me everywhere I love it so much I've had actually so many different vlog cameras maybe I should do a whole technology video because I feel like I've had a lot of experiences with different cameras with just being like kind of a regular User. I'm not someone who knows like every little detail about photography and videography. I'm just a youtuber So I use my camera like I feel like any regular person would so if you guys want to see That video like a bunch of my cameras and I can talk about each one then let me know Yeah, the one I'm using now is the Canon M50 and I have a wide-angle lens on it so I can do more of like the wide angle fish lens especially when i'm vlogging i got that specifically for that which i actually went a long time without having that lens i only bought i bought the wide angle lens like last year i think um so you definitely don't need that it's definitely more pricey once you start adding in like special lenses and stuff so the kit lens that comes with this camera regularly is like still very very good have you thought of dyeing your hair another color Yes, I've always been thinking about that. I've honestly just been really sticking with my natural brown hair. I'll do like at-home glosses and stuff just for fun, but I've been trying to stick with it as my hair grows out. And honestly, you guys, my hair is so long now. Like I cannot believe how much longer it's gotten. I feel like I was in like this limbo mode where it wasn't growing at all for so long, but it's definitely getting there. So basically my goal is like get my hair to its peak like healthiness and a really long length before I do any like color or anything fun to it but stay tuned because I'm like I really really want to but I'm trying to make my hair like I'm just trying to be patient I guess I'm being patient with it I'm not trying to rush anything because it's been a long time coming to get my hair like back to this state after being a platinum short blonde hair when are you coming back to Dallas? I really hope soon. My aunt and uncle live in Dallas and I love Dallas so much. I've been visiting Dallas like since I was a little girl and yeah, I haven't gone down there in a while. One, because of COVID and then also my aunt and uncle were actually just up in Michigan for a little bit in the summer so we were able to see them. But probably maybe like this fall, late fall, hopefully soon. I love Dallas so much. I cannot wait to go back. Just gonna answer a few more. My last purchase. I do not know what my last purchase was. I guess a croissant this morning. <laughs> that was like my last like legitimate purchase. I did just get some stuff off Amazon. I got like some really cute dry erase markers for our whiteboard and I got this amazing ice tray with like a little bucket and a scooper i'll link those down below or put them on my amazon favorites and those are like stupid two house things but i honestly really like them so far oh and i got like a bigger vase to put my makeup brushes in because i found whenever you look up makeup brush holder they're all like literally this size and i ended up using this for like my pens and pencils at my desk because like that literally fits maybe a quarter of my makeup brushes so i need to get like a bigger vase to hold those i got that off amazon those were my last purchases i like that question okay last question if your name wasn't emily what would it be okay i don't know if you mean like from my parents or my own like what i would want my name to be i don't think i really wish for my name to be anything different i don't have like anything in mind but my parents always told me that they were going to name me ella and honestly i really love that name i think it's really pretty i feel like it's just a little bit more unique version of emily so yeah, I've always loved the name Ella. I think it's such a beautiful, like, I don't know. I think it's a cute name. I also love like really short names. So that completes this q and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you want me to do more of these Q&As. Do I still like this kind of stuff? Our sit down video is like so boring please let me know i know you guys love the vlogs i'm always trying to vlog i want to do more like full week in my life i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out felix gray in the description box if you guys want to get some blue light filtering glasses and yeah i love you and i'll see you in my next one bye